I commend President Mohamedou Buhari of Nigeria for his leadership through the Clean Nigeria campaign. The turnaround in Nigeria's sanitation sector got to an all-time high, eliciting recognition by the UN. Not that the country has been able to record complete compliance with hygienic practices as some 47 million Nigerians, including these children, still practice open defecation, neither has it ensured safe water for all. But then, the UN and other stakeholders recognize the strategic moves by Nigerian governments in meeting the 2030 SDGs target of safe water and good sanitation for all and even the self-challenging targets of 2025 to end open defecation in Nigeria. To formally declare a state of emergency. President Mohamed Buhari showed strong political will to turn around the sector with the launch of a national wash action plan in 2018. A year later, a milestone in the implementation was recorded when Vice President Yemi Oshimbaju launched a national campaign. Then, President Buhari signed Executive Order 9 to end open defecation. For once, in a long, very, very long time, there was a deliberate program to develop a water uh, a roadmap for water sector development. If the state governments can key into the roadmap, then we could have sustainable development in that sector. So far, 11 state governments have followed suit declaring states of emergency in the sector. The pace has been so slow compared to the size of the country and whatever achievements we have been able to meet, they have always been overcome by the natural increase in the number of, of population. The involvement of the private sector now is critical. Uh, we'll select those states that are, are still sluggish. We'll go back to them. We'll continue to shape our strategy. We are going to continue to bring in more partners to, to work with us on the advocacy. The effort to end open defecation is expected to gather more momentum in 2020, just like the pursuit of portable water and the National Irrigation Plan to attain the target of 500,000 hectares of irrigable land by year 2030, as well as the revitalization of the River Basin Development Authorities. In Abuja, Muspal, and Wahab, NT News.